my girlfriend and I decided to eat at Jerry's in Barakai. As you can see here, it was very packed. We had to wait for a good 10 to 15 minutes. Was the wait worth it? Let's go ahead and find out. The good thing is, as with most restaurants here, the menu is posted outside. Um, so you can actually take a look before you commit to waiting. I'd say that their menu is pretty expansive. Having things from pork, beef, seafood, vegetables, among other things. One thing I actually didn't know prior to coming to this restaurant is that Jerry's is a chain. When we went to different parts of the Philippines, we saw a bunch of different Jerry's as well. We already looked at the menu outside, so we didn't necessarily uh, use the menu too much except for the pictures. Looking at the pictures, I would say if if you don't know what you want, I'd suggest asking for a menu since as you can see here, there are a lot of pictures in the menu. She's not necessarily as familiar with Filipino food as I am, so for her, the pictures were very helpful. I'd also say that their pictures actually do look pretty good. Now, do they look the same as the actual food? We'll just have to see. I started off with the mango shake and I can tell you that it was very refreshing. I ordered the sisig and it came with garlic rice. I really love garlic rice. One thing that's not in most traditional sisig recipes is the red onions. And personally I'm a huge fan of red onions so I, this was a nice surprise. Also the calamansi, oh my goodness, that just makes the whole dish. They don't call it sizzling sisig for nothing, huh? Just look at that sizzle. Needless to say, the plate is very hot, so be careful. Something that was surprising to us is that some establishments here actually have really bad rice. I was very excited to see that my rice here was perfect. We also ordered fried chicken, which was not that great. And we also got noodles. Tell them what happened. She really wanted the lechon kawale. And when the server said that they ran out of it, she was very unhappy. What didn't help is that after our food was served, the table right next to us literally got lichen kawale. Um, the unfortunate part about this is that the noodles, everything here wasn't actually bad. Now, the shrimp, oh no, I would stay away from the shrimp. It has this weird, super shrimpy, fishy taste. It just felt like it wasn't prepared properly. Here's a clip of my girlfriend eating the chicken. I I mean, she said it was good, but personally, I was not a fan. It just felt like there was too much breading, and it was just a little bit too salty for me. And don't get me wrong, like, I love salt. One awesome thing about the fried chicken dish though is that it came with these yellow things. Um, I know that it's some sort of pickled vegetable, I just don't know what it is. But wow, it really works well with the sea chicken rice. Just look at that oil! The yumminess, all the fats mixing in. Absolutely fantastic flavor. I definitely tried the chicken and here's proof of it. Um, yes, you can see the oils on there, but honestly, it was just way too salty, and, and I, I wouldn't get it. You can get way better chicken in another place. Thankfully, the shake was something that was absolutely fantastic and goes well with the entire meal. Here's me just dumping all the rice onto my plate because, really, why not? As I've said earlier, we really did not like the shrimp, and we don't recommend that you try it, so we put it on a separate plate here. Okay. 
we're not sure what this is but this came from the noodle dish as well and you know if i had to guess i'd say it's liver again not a fan just look at how much oil is in here wow i can't even imagine thinking that that could have been inside me you know get me wrong i'm not complaining I'm just stating out the facts at the end, here is what's left of our meal. Our entire meal cost us about 1100 pesos or something a little bit more than 20 bucks. So for the things that we got, one, one sisig, one chicken dish, uh, one noodle dish, and two shakes, I thought it was a pretty fair price. And, and given that we were in Barakai, it was okay. Now, was the food that great? I would say probably not. Um, I thought it was mediocre. As a matter of fact, when we saw the different Jerry's out in the different parts of the Philippines, uh, we actually avoided them. Um, it's an okay restaurant. I don't know why so many people are in here, but honestly, I found it to be mediocre. Now, I'm not telling you to not come here, right? Uh, that was only our experience, and I guess if we did order something else, maybe we would have a better experience. So, Sisig, it was okay, not that great. I did like the red onions. Uh, the chicken, a little bit too salty, just not a fan. The noodles, as in like the actual noodles uh, themselves, was good, but again, it had shrimp, which was uh, at best, and liver, which we were not a fan of. Overall, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up and a sub below if you like this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.